Hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Andy here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time, we are getting it all on the epic, the Big Con. This was developed by Mighty Yell, published by Skybound Games, and is usually available for £10.74 or $14.99. But it's currently included in Xbox Game Pass. And it also comes with two title updates, making your total gamer score to 1,500 Gs. Nice. So, we play as Ali Alejandro, Ali Alejandro, without the Andro, as we do a bit of travelling around, making that cash by basically conning people and pickpocketing them. The perfect crimes. It's actually a pretty fun game, and, I mean, as for achievements, well, there, there's a lot, okay? Uh, you've got to be on the lookout for, yeah, as I said, a lot. There's usually four to five stickers on each level, plus you've got to be on the lookout for certain individuals throughout each level's, uh, plus there's a ho just there's just a whole load more, but obviously I've got timestamps and my seductive Welsh voice will guide you through uh, Now this should take you around three hours or so to complete So with that being said then let's do it And there's going to be a couple of accessibility options that we're going to turn on in order to make this uh, just a little bit even easier, especially for the skating ones. So we're going to go down to options, go down to... I mean, you can put the laugh track on if you want. That might be, that might be a little bit too uh, distracting. But we're going to go down to gameplay. We're going to put the pickpocket challenge to automatically pickpocket. The minigame is not difficult by any stretch anyway, but makes it even easier. Um, we're going to go to press only for other press and hold actions. Uh, eavesdropping hints, you can just leave them on, that's fine. Rad Skater Invincibility. Now, this is important to make this even easier. We're going to turn this on, and that should do. So basically, there is, uh, throughout the game, we'll be able to play four games of uh, what's called Rad Skater. And it's basically, as we start a new game here, and it, all it is is basically you're just jumping over stuff, getting coins, but you need to earn a score of 15,000 points. Uh, for the one achievement, which can be quite tricky on its own, but with Rad Skater Invincibility on, you, you don't have to worry about that at all. Okay, so here we go. We begin. Here is Ali, Ali Alejandro, Ali Alejandro. So let's uh, let's begin. Right. So first of all, we are obviously it's left stick to move as it is in every game ever, unless a game dev wants to mess with the system and confuse the crap out of us. So. Here we are then in Lisbon, this is the first starting area, so the first thing we're going to do is head up and we are going to go into Linda's video store, now this is your mom, there she is in the back, damn Linda you're looking fine, I mean um, the, we get our first achievement is what I meant to say there, Sorry, it's just autocorrect, uh, the video store employee for basically showing up to work, now a lot of these dialogue options do not matter in the slightest, so for a lot of the time, you can just go ahead and press either the X or Y button. I'll only tell you when there is a specific dialogue option that we have to choose. But again, for a lot of dialogue, we can just smash through it and press either X or Y. It literally has no bearing on story or achievements. So we're going to speak to this first uh, couple here on the right. And they're going to want... Um, well, again, you can press anything that you want. It literally does not matter, but what we do need to do, if you head down, you can see the ear icon just appearing there on the uh, video shelves. Now, you'll see this throughout the entirety of the game. So if you press the Y button, you can actually eavesdrop. God damn it, customer, get out of the way. And then, so when you press Y to eavesdrop, press the X button then, and that'll uh, overhear the greenness of the conversation. Then you can go ahead, ask, uh, tell them something, and then we're actually going to choose B, Jean-Luc Van Slam's Hamlet. All right. <laughs> uh, and that will get them going, all right. All right, and going. So, yeah, that's how we do that. Next couple then, again, this dialogue option does not matter, so choose whatever, but then we're going to do the same thing. So uh, head off to the ear icon there on the left, press the Y button, and then the X button in order to... Listen, and this one, this one actually said that the, the uh, choice of film that we're going to choose actually sounds like something I would watch. The Passion of Sexy Lagoon. Uh, so press B for The Passion of Sexy Lagoon. I really want, I need that to be made. I, I must know what The Passion of Sexy Lagoon is. 
Uh, but anyway, that'll, that'll help them. That gets us another couple of bucks. So guy on the right, uh, again, we're just going to do the same thing. Choose whichever here. And then go to the left, next to the ear icon, press the Y button and then the X button to overhear him talking to himself, which is uh, not crazy at all. Not crazy like Dwaggy Knight style. <laughs> uh, anyway, more on that later. So uh, we can choose Y, Columb Dog, a crime tale. That actually sounds like something hilariously cool as well. So, um, yeah. So once we have done all that, we can then go back. Yay! Little spin to show that we are done. So head back and talk to your mother. Oh, also, um, now I normally put this on for free on YouTube, but I'm actually asking for £5 donations so I can actually buy a game that I want, which is WWE 2K24. But it's de I'm definitely not copying Dwaggy Knight there, who's trying to take advantage of everyone. Uh, <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry. Uh, right, anyway, let us crack on. So, again, we are just eavesdropping in our mother's conversation with old Slimeball Ricky, who's got three dots on his chin for some reason. If that's trying to be a beard, then I don't want to know. Anyway, head up to our room, just at the back of the store here, by pressing the A button. Uh, Rad Ghost is going to appear on a bed. So we're just going to smash through all the dialogue, and then we're going to speak to our mama once more. <sighs> what? What? Well, uh... Mm. What? I guess. Come on. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> well, the... Mm. Okay! Uh-huh. Yeah! What? No. Hmm? All right. Huh? And remember, if I don't say anything during these dialogue encounters, it means you can just choose any one that you want. Uh, so you're going to sneak out the window here. Rad Ghost is going to give us a fanny pack. Now, obviously, I hope I don't get cancelled for saying fanny on a YouTube video. But remember, fanny in America and stuff is not like the lady garden front bit. Um, it's, it's, you know, that it's this. It's a fanny pack. Thankfully, they didn't call it a, uh, you know, vag pack or something. That would have been more awkward. Anyway, once you've climbed out, head to the right, and you're going to find this suitcase. Uh, so you're going to press the A button here, and we are going to use the code 452. Now, uh, so 4, it, it may be in random locations for you here, but it's going to be 4, and then the next one's 5, uh, and the next one's going to be 2. Uh, it doesn't matter if you fail. You can just go ahead and do it again. This actually starts off a side quest called the Big Sneak, which we are going to be getting for an achievement later. So this is the Big Sneak, one out of six, and there is a lot of achievements like this. The Smoker, the Joker, the Lover, there's quite a few. So just keep an eye and an ear out. Right, now we can finally head to the left, get out of the alley. And then if we go left, so we start heading left, down the supermarket and everything, you're going to see these two guys um, just like normal construction workers, sort of just hanging around, not doing much. It's my kind of job, that one. Uh, so, you can, so you're going to speak to those two. And then what are you going to do? Golden bidet. That sounds interesting. Uh, so what we need to do then is head to the right and go outside the ice cream shop two scoops. Uh, normally, Ted, our companion, will appear. But if he doesn't, just go ahead and talk to one of these guys. Right here, and then he should appear. So I think it's after speaking to three people, old Big Ted will just appear as if by magic. And then instead of going, wow, you look creepy and weird, I'm not going anywhere with you, I'm going to band camp. 
No, she's going to go, I'll tell you what I could do with $97,000 to save the video store, actually. So let's go for it. Uh, again, uh, dialogue options here do not matter, though. Hmm. Huh? What? I... Hmm... Cool. What? Hey. Yeah... Hmm. Huh? Hmm. What? Huh? Maybe. I... Uh. So if you're doing the pickpocketing game legit, it's literally just a case of, yeah, you just need to stop the arrow in the purple bar, and that's about it, and that's how you pickpocket stuff. But since we've got it on auto, you just need to sneak up behind someone Press the Y button, like that, and then you'll just automatically do it. So that's how uh, nice and easy it is. So, um, yep, again, that is the pickpocketing game. That uh, obviously depends on whichever way you want to do it. Uh, so, yeah, one question, though. If you had a choice of going across the country, stealing up to 97,000 bucks, would you do it or would you not? <laughs> of course you would. But we'd probably end up in jail, so maybe not. Anyway, so once you go uh, going around, just pickpocketing a couple of people. We do actually need ten bucks in total, um, so we're just gonna nip around just for a few seconds. Now you don't actually have to go throughout the game. You don't really have to go too much out of your way in order to um, make some money. So it's pretty decent. Only sometimes we'll just take you know a minute or two in order to get some. Cashy Cash, this is your uh, things which tell you what to do, of course. So if we just go and head up to the right where Ted was, there's going to be another three that we can pull. Plus, we're going to get the first sticker of this uh, in Lisbon, and it's going to be right at the top. There it is. And you can see it every time you see a smiley face, uh, smiley face sticker, plus the A button. There it is. That's when you know you're going to get a sticker. So that's the first sticker collectible of the level. Jeff's ice cream. Okay, so now what we're going to do is walk uh, basically down and left until we feel, uh, until we see a mother with a stroller. Um, but again, uh, obviously just go around and pickpocket as many people as you can as well. Always comes in handy, the extra money. Again, wish it was this easy to make <laughs> to make some money without being arrested. But there's the mother with a stroller, so pickpocket her. She's got nine bucks on her. That is, uh, well, that's more than I've got right now, which is pretty sweet. Uh -huh. Plus, we get the yeah. taking candy from a baby achievement. And now we can head back to Ted. We should have, obviously, over ten bucks. Speak to him, and that'll get us the first timer achievement as well. So with the title oh. updates, this game actually has 52 achievements, so that is pretty fine and dandy. Uh. Uh. Yeah. What? Uh huh. Isn't it kind of mad that these voice actors got paid yeah. mainly to sound like they're just trying to uh, get rid of a hard dump on the toilet? <laughs> and a bit of yeah and all right. Nice and easy. So, first thing we're going to do is go to this Marge Simpson looking statue, and in the bush there is the second collectible. And then slightly to the left, you're going to find an acorn. This is the collectible uh, collector's item at one out of 25. 
So that's a sticker and an acorn. And if we head up and the left and around the bench, um, and just by the gazebo, just to the left. Oh, in fact, we are not going to speak to Marie just yet. But here on the left, just underneath, is a film. Uh, it's another film, Husk Till Dawn. Hilarious. But that we have to find seven uh, films throughout all of the levels. And then what you can do, you can go ahead and you can speak yeah. to the kid here if you want. This is basically the sticker kid where we have to collect, as I said, each stickers, four or five stickers in each level. So we're going to go back up. And we are going to cross the road and head into Blossoms, the old flowery shop. Here it is right next to old Linda Ball's video store. So in the Blossoms... And once we get in here, on the left side in the plants, we're going to find the next collector's item, which is just uh, some corn flour. I'll explain more about the specifics of these collector's items in each level in just a second. Uh, we're going to pickpocket the, um, what kind of looks like uh, Leela from Futurama, if she was uh, had two eyes and a beard. Uh, so once you pickpocket him, he's only got a dollar, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, but to the left, as we get outside in the container just outside Cooper's Market is going to be corn, more corn, and that's going to be collector's item number three out of 25. Here it is. And then what we can do is actually go ahead and grab an achievement by getting into Cooper's Market here. And then what we have to do, we have to interact with the fruits in a specific order. So first of all, we're going to interact with the grapes. Yes, grapes. And then the apples. Yes, the apples. Then the orange, which is on the left there, and then the lime, which is obviously the green, green limes. So grapes, apples, oranges, and limes, that'll get us the big cornucopia achievement. Up in the grocery, remember the old days, Abe Simpson's jail. Yeah, we used to have apples, grapes, limes, and oranges, which was the style at the time. Uh, go ahead and interact with uh, Pickpocket, even the guy on the right. That is going to get us a bus ticket from the man who needs to go and see a doctor, since they are currently blue. And then what we'll do is go around the back. We are then going to get a sticker, um, the Yums sticker, just to the right of the blue man. And then what we're going to do is actually interact with the blue man. Well, after we rob him, of course. Oh, In fact, we'll rob both of them. And then we actually need to speak to the guy on the right, the bright blue guy here. Because he is actually needed for an achievement called the Joker. And this is the that is the first opportunity out of five. Even though apparently I didn't speak to him. Make sure you speak to him though. Uh, so once you've spoken to him, we're going to come outside, go into the gazebo and speak to our friend Marie. Who is standing inside. And this is going to be... Uh, one out of two for an achievement called The Tape Never Lies. Aww. So once you have spoken to Mary, we're going to go back into Linda's video store. We're going to grab the old candy corn. So yes, it's another collector's item just on the left as we enter on the floor. So make sure to pick that up. That should now be number four out of 25. And then we'll run to the back of the store, interact with the shelf just to the right here of the stairs, and this should get us our first collectible-ish achievement, Sticky Fingers Lisbon. I'm trying not to make any puns or anything about Sticky Fingers, but that'll be the first achievement. So that's for getting all four out of four stickers in the Lisbon level. Once we have uh, exited, we can go ahead and uh, just make sure to sort of pickpocket as many people as you can. Or, or that you have done, and then we can go ahead and uh, head to the bus stop, which is going to be to the left. So basically to the left and up. So if we head up and we head left, screen will change and we will, uh, yeah, get to go. So we got two people here, Ted, our normal guy, and the other guy sitting on the bench is called The Collector. Now throughout each level, The Collector will need especially for achievements later on, he will need five specific items that we find in a level. So for this level, that's why uh, we've uh, found five specific corn things, because that's what he wants. That is what will get us an achievement uh, in the next level. 
And then, of course, he will need specific themed stuff in each different level. So, obviously, when I tell you to collect something or you see me collect something, it's probably for a good cause. Um, even though he does just look like, you know, the Joker, but if he was sort of washed out and needed to go to the doctors urgently. So, we'll press the X button here to check the bag. And normally, when you're speaking to the um, washed out Joker, you're going to have to speak to him twice, then press the X button again. And then after this one, you can just keep spamming the A button and he'll go through it automatically. And providing you have all five, then he will be pretty good with that. And everybody's happy. And you're richer. Well, uh... <laughs> What's not to love? We'd love it if you... Woo! Uh... Okay. What? Hmm? I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow to the butt, and my butt hurts and I can't sit down properly. That's the new Elder Scrolls coming up, the new Elder Scrolls TV show. Uh, right, so we're going to head to the right. Uh, just what we're going to do is head back one more time here to uh, Linda's Vidi store. In fact, no, we're going up the alleyway, sorry. We're sneaking back to our room, of course. So back up the alleyway, back up the steps. We're going to head to our room and we're going to have more talks to our mom. Well, after Rad Ghost. All right. <laughs> uh, please. Yikes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, uh... So once you've spoken to your mom, you've spoken to Ted, you can actually, if you if you have picked up any other sort of unwanted junk that's just in your inventory, or your badge pack, your fanny pack, you can go ahead and speak to the Joker, the Collector Joker, one more time, and you can actually um, sell off your unwanted crud for a little bit of extra cash, which always comes in handy, right? So if you want any of uh, Welshie's life advice, Whatever junk you see on the floor, just pick it up and there will be somebody out there who will actually pay you money for it. Somewhere. I don't know where, because normally people in a washed out suit who's blue and who looks like they're about to pass out, uh, they don't normally show up in our town, so you might have to go looking for them. Anyway, this is going to be the first level done. So every time our notebook pops up at the end of each level, we just have to press the A button to draw a line to our next stop. And yeah, it's job what? done. Uh, what? So here we are then at the mall. We're in Malton Mall. Or is it Malton Mall? Well, Malton Mall, isn't it? Right, so first up, we're going to head straight up. We've got a few things to do outside first. We're going to head straight up and interact with the uh, bin or the trash can for some money. Then just to the right of this uh, bus is another suitcase. So we're going to use the code six. So it's six, first of all, and then two. And finally is nine, so six, two, nine. 
And we're going to get one of those uh, achievements where we're going to have to interact with this specific lady on each level. Uh, so just to the left of the Morton Mall, Morton Mall uh, doors is uh, somebody who smokes. So just uh, interact with her, choose whatever dialogue options you want, but this will be one out of four for the achievement called The Smoker. Please. <laughs> Morton Mall, here we call. Come. Damn it. Okay, the rhyme didn't go so smooth, but here we are then, and we actually need a minimum of 78 buckaroonies to progress here. Sounds difficult, but it's really, really not. So, after this very small conversation, head to the right of this information desk and grab our first sticker. This is the brochure Molten Mall sticker. Uh, now we actually do, what we're going to do is press the pause button here. We actually need to fail uh, the pickpocketing minigame three times during this level. So we'll just get it out of the way now. So go down to options, pickpocket challenge and put it on minigame. Um, uh, and then basically what we what we need to do is now go and find three people in order to fail the challenge on. So you will actually, especially when people are walking, you need to hold the Y button and keep following them and fail the uh, pickpocket challenge. The reason we're only doing that now is just because there's an achievement for it called the, the legitimate hustle uh, So just find absolutely anyone here. We go. We got a broccoli head right here like the majority of teenagers haircuts these days hold the Y button uh, Press the press the arrow in to the white and that'll be the first one done So just go ahead find another two people to fail the challenge with And now we have to do a little job for, I, I suppose it's the Simpsons versions of Squeaky Voice Teen, isn't it? Because he appears everywhere. So just press the A button a uh, number of times here, rewind some videotapes, and this is what will get us. One, all our money back, and two, the achievement called The Legitimate Hustle. Oh, wait, not my break. Ha! I don't work for you. I don't work for anybody. So, since we don't work for anybody, we can do what we want, and we can actually go ahead, pop the pickpocket challenge back to automatic, if you so wish. Just makes it a little bit easier, of course. So, uh, right, there we go. So we don't actually have to ch turn that off for the rest of the game. So what we're actually going to do now, we're going to go back down uh, to the front door, uh, just to get a... a an idea of where we are, where we're going to start, just makes it a little bit easier for us. So right back to the information desk. So what we're going to do is actually head to the right. Sorry, uh, for some reason I can't tell my left and right. So we're going to head down right, and we're going to interact with, first of all, the bin, to get us a couple of bucks there, and interact with the cocoa tree, and then we can grab the coconut that falls. This will be collector item 5 out of 25. So, uh, yep, once you've grabbed that then, uh, we're going to go down and the right until we run into... So if we start heading sort of up from here, uh, we're going to run into the Joker again. The old bright blue washed out Joker. So, again, you can rob him before you speak to him. Which would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, and again, any dialogue option, it doesn't matter. You can literally just choose X, yeah. Y, it literally huh? does not matter. Choose what you yeah. want. Yeah. Well, please. Ooh. All right. <laughs> I'm obviously just nice and tell him that that joke's hilarious, bro. <laughs> so interact with the um, bin right there to get a garbage burger, and then we can interact with the code next to the door. The code is going to be 6537. That's 6537, and then make sure to press enter. 
And here we go. This is how easy it is to just rob stuff in the 90s. Now you've got cameras and all sorts of uh, crud. So interact with the sticker here. This is the Coco sticker. This is uh, sticker number two out of six for the level. And then we're going to go to the left and we're going to grab the golden burblo off the counter. This big shiny thing right here. So we're going to grab that. Oh, pineapple head. Looks cooler than me. Um, and when we exit the room, we are actually going to interact with the stranger in the old uh, looking very fashionable right there. So make sure to introduce yourself. He's going to introduce himself as Big Daddy. Um, basically, as you go through the levels, he wants you to find more of these burblos. Uh, but this is actually part one out of six for kids in a trench. You will have to... Um, a lot of the times, you will have to speak to them twice in order for them to either buy the burblo or anything like that. So make sure to interact with them twice, and then um, you should be good to go. So now we can actually go into OK Toys. So I was just having a little look there, see if there's any more money to grab. Uh, but that also with that, it's uh, the Kids in a Trench achievement for one out of six. So go to the left. You're going to have to go uh, in the middle and to the left, and then we can grab... A, another sticker can be a little bit finicky so oh, there it is there it is there it is this is going to be uh, sticker number three out of six the molten caterpillar very nice okay we can now exit the store there's nothing else in here to grab so we'll just head down we're going to go up and go to plaid to the bone here it is <laughs> plaid to the bone very funny i like it I like it a lot. So we're going to talk to the girl just behind the clothes on the left. This is a another uh, achievement. Um, f uh, this is number one out of four for an achievement called the Periwinkle Takeover. So again, we just have to look out for her in various levels. Speak to her until the achievement unlocks. So once you've spoken to her, uh, there's no one else in here to grab. Not even Squeaky Voice Teen. You can't even rob him, which is a shame. So we're going to leave the store. We're going to go up and then take a right right here. Again, always sort of rob people on your way past. Or pickpocket, sorry, not rob. Uh, just pickpocket people apart from crappy Squeaky... Oh, no, you can... Oh, sorry, I forgot about that one. You can get him. Uh, but we're going to go past these scrunchies and popcorn stands. And we're going to be in the food court. So we are going to rob every... Uh, sorry, I'm going to say... I, I keep saying rob. We're going to PP everyone. I'll stick with pickpocket, actually. So once we pickpocket everyone, this guy will always have this um, item, collector's item on him. So once you have pickpocketed that guy, you should have that collector's item on him. And then uh, just go ahead and grab the sticker from the bottom right-hand corner table, the Brotan. That should be number four out of six. And this is where we are going to get the three DLC title update achievements. Uh, well, after just a rob. So you see the guy in the wheelchair there. Um, he basically wants us to play a game called uh, Rad Skater. Now, this is where we turn... This is why and where we turn the invincibility on. So there are three achievements tied to these. Um, basically, you've got to beat your score of 350. But if we play until we get a score of at least 15,000, we will get three achievements called a Rad Achievement, a Radder Achievement, and the Raddest Achievement Ever. So, once you've done speaking to Vicariah, uh, play the Rad Skater. Now, like I said, it is a simple looking game. You've literally just got to grab coins and press the A button in order to get um, uh, avoid some obstacles, like so. But since we've got invincibility on, just make sure to actually run over these obstacles because running over those obstacles will get you even more score. So, again, just keep playing this. I will have edited this down slightly. But keep playing until you get at least 15,000 score. And then you just have to wait for the timer to run out. And that will get you the three achievements.
Okay, so maybe I went a little bit overboard there with the score, 23,000. Um, but yeah, you only need 15,000, as I said. That'll get you the three achievements, and then we don't have to worry about that one. But we will still have to play the Rad Skater game a couple more times, because when we speak to Vic, uh, the old Vicky wheelchair guy, once again, um, this is going to be one out of four for an achievement called the Skater, where we just have to beat his score on all four times. So, this is the first out of four for the skater done. Now, like I said, um, since we've already pickpocketed everyone, we should already have the flip-flop keychain from the guy who... That guy there. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this guy. I miss being on vacation. You're telling me, bruv? God, I need a holiday damn bad right now. Right, so, uh, now, there's only a couple of randomized things um, in this game, and the first one here is... Another collector's item, the plastic lay. Now, it's going to be in one of these bins, uh, or trash cans, whatever you want to call it, around here. That's where it was for me. Uh, you know, it's one of those Hawaii flower, akiaya la 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 type things. Anyway, once you've interacted with every bin, you've got your collector's item, plastic lay. We can then go up to the Homer Slice shop. This shop right here, we're going to interact with the pizza slices. And the cashier is going to give us a pineapple pizza. That's going to be collector item number 8 yeah. out of 25. But we do actually need to pick it up off the counter. So make sure to grab that again. That'll be the 8th out of 25. And slightly to the left of the cashier. In fact, very left, just left of the cashier is another sticker. That was the pineapple pizza sticker. Yay! So just to the left, we're going to interact with this guy. And, well, after we, of course, pickpocket him... <laughs> Not pee, pee him, uh, but we do actually need to say things in different, uh, in a specific order. So first, sure, why not? And then, first of all, then we're going to choose corn, because obviously this whole place is one corned up piece of corn. The next one is ham. Ham's good. We like ham. Then it's mackerel. Yeah, I think a lot of us like mackerel. Huh? And then finally, it is gluten rooken drooken tone, the bottom option. Glucuronocular tone. Um, and yeah, so we just grabbed some extra money there. 25 bucks, job done. So to the left is the Videoville store. This is where we're going to actually head in now. And then what we need to do is actually squeeze just in between the pillar on the right. Again, you could do a little bit of uh, pickpocketing if you want. But just between the pillar, not down this aisle, but just between the pillar and the shelf on the right is the next film. The Alien Beach Baby, which sounds horrifyingly relaxing in some sort of way but anyway that is going to be film buff two out of seven um now we're going to exit the shop we don't actually have to do anything here apart from just pickpocket and get some more money so we are going to exit the shop which is to the left of where um crappy voice teen is there he is uh now as we head down you can actually enter the costume cave if you want um there's no the uh, this cave, there's, no, there's nothing really of any note in it, though. So we'll just pickpocket the guy down here. Go around to the left. We're going to see some pay phones. Oh, after we just get a little pee, pee on this guy. Pickpocket, of course. So interact with the pay phone. And first of all, we are going to choose to phone Marie, who will give us the Tape 11 Never Lies achievement. Huh? Come on. So basically it goes from best friends to I want you on my face. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, pretty much it. So after we've done that, we're going to interact with the phone again. And then this time after this, we're going to choose to call our mother. So interact with the phone again, not Ted, and then choose to interact and phone a mommy. Huh? Well, uh-huh. All right. I... I... 
Well. What? Yeah? And that's actually for an achievement called The Truth, and this is the first out of three that we got to do. So, interact with the phone one more time, and this time we're going to choose to phone the weird shoe guy. Now, there is a specific option that we have to choose, what? and we are going to choose the shoes fly like eagles at midnight. So, the middle option, the shoes fly like eagles at midnight, cool. and this is actually two out of six for the big sneak. Ah... Uh... <laughs> right, so we're going to talk to Ted. This time we're going to learn about change breaking. Um, now, you don't actually have to do this um, at all throughout the game if you don't want, but it's very easy enough to do. Um, so, effectively, what it's going to be is... When you are speaking to the crappy voice teen, uh, you know, the, the, the guys who you want to, uh, who basically work in every store ever, the crappy voice teen, um, he'll get, basically what we're going to say is, can you break change for 100 or 50 or whatever? He's going to start counting it up. And then what, what's going to, what you're going to see is either say, uh, or grr. Now, it's the same every single time. So if it's say, it means he's sad and you've got to tell him a joke. If it's grr, it means you're angry and you've just got to leave him to it. And if it's... Uh, so, we, well, we'll just go in, in with it here. So we'll press B for 100. Uh, we'll tell you what it is now. So, as soon as you see, just... They're going to start coming in front of us. He says, uh... Uh... You know, like he's just drooling over a delicious uh, burger or something. You need to press the X button to say something weird. So every time you see... Uh, you need to say something weird as if you're talking to a zombie or something. Um, and then that's all good. When you see Sai, okay. it means he's sad. You need to tell him a joke. Huh. All right. And then if he goes, Grrr, like a, you know, <laughs> like an unsteroided bear, that one, <laughs> then it just means you've got to press the B button and let him keep counting. So don't interrupt him at all. Um, and that's it. So, sad, sigh, sad, tell him a joke, uh, say something weird, and then grr, uh, at the B button to effectively let him crack on with it. So, again, you don't have to do that uh, um, if you don't want, but you can if you do need the extra cash. So, head down to the photo booth here. This is actually going to be the final sticker in Molten. This is going to be um, st uh, sticker six out of six. So you should now get these sticky fingers molten. And obviously the change breaker achievement as well. Um, once you have... Um, so just behind these rides, we can press the Y button actually. Uh, I was looking for the A button, but it's the Y button here to pick up this next burble bow. Uh, ignore Broccoli Head for a minute. It's just behind the kid on the ride. So you'll need, again, you'll need to press the Y button in order to pick up the burble bow. There it is. Nice and plain, Ned Flanders style. Uh, so, uh, once we grab that, we can head over to the fountain, over to the right-hand side, all the way on the right-hand side, next to the coconut tree, in order to speak to and sell it to the man with the child. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, uh... All right. So, yes, make sure here to actually sell for 20 bucks. And then once that's done, that's all good. And then what we can do is actually head sort of up and left. We're going to go into the pawn shop now where you can pickpocket the guy as well. <laughs> So he's just given us 20 bucks for that, and then we've just robbed him some more. So why not? So we're going to head up past these scrunchy and popcorn stands here in order to get into the porn shop. The P-A-W-N shop. I'm not that crass. Uh, just past the costume cave here. And there it is. So again, uh, he, 
just like in Lisbon in the first level, we're going to go through what he's looking for. We've already got these specific collector's items, so you're going to need to speak to him a couple of times, keep pressing the X button to check the bags, and then once you've given him everything, we're going to get the collector's gambit achievement. Please. What? Maybe. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Good show. Uh huh. Well, uh. Yes. If it's not too uh. much trouble. Woo. I. Huh. Hmm? What? Excellent! Ha-ha! <laughs> Maybe. We'd love it if you... There we go then, we've just sold uh, any other extra bits of crud that we've got, so that's an extra 24 bucks, that'll do, nice and handy. Okay, so again, if you want to do some change breaking, uh, make some more money, that's fine, you can go ahead and do that if you want, but we should have plenty enough money, so once we're ready to go, we're going to go to the left side, underneath the Heartlands home liner, there it is, we're off to the train station, we're going to have some dialogue with Ted, and then press the A button, when you get to your notebook in order to get onto the train and to the next level. Alright then, let's slay it, kings, queens. So, we need to make $500 again. It's going to be very easy, so don't worry about that. But we're going to head over to the right-hand side first. Uh, what we need to do is actually interact with the ear. Uh, get a little bit of eavesdropping going on. Uh, if it doesn't work the first time, try again. Then, of course, press the X button to get to this part. Uh, then, what we're going to do, the... <laughs> Uh, we can actually just uh, go into his bag and pull out a nice baseball card with a... It looked like he had crap smeared around his uh, lips rather than a moustache there, but still. It's nice. It's good. It's good. So once we've done that, if we go uh, right in between the middle seats where the mother is, there is the first... Uh, so we've got the baseball card. There's the first sticker. So we're going to go to the left and interact. Um, now, what I always end up doing as well, just before, we're just going to basically pickpocket everyone that we possibly can. So once you've done that, interact with the um, guy right here. We're going to keep talking to him until we get some bribe options. So you can either press X or Y. It doesn't matter because we've got to choose the other off um, the other option later on anyway. So uh, whichever one you choose, again, as I said, it doesn't matter. But he's going to head off to the right. Now, also, there's going to be a VHS on this train uh, for film buff, 3 out of 7. But this item is randomized, so just make sure to be checking every bin and every red curtain um, a little bit later on. Um, now, we just seen a guy in a sweater go past. We actually need to uh, pickpocket him in just a bit, because he's got a Zone C ticket, which we will need. 
Uh, but when we get into this next cart, anyway, on the bench, uh, just to the left of the seat uh, where Ted is, is the next sticker. This is Karate Frog. Like Crazy Frog, it's basically Crazy Frog's steroided up uh, mega buff cousin. Okay, the smoker is going to be on this uh, part of the cart as well. So we're going to obviously pickpocket everyone. And you see uh, the green guy there at the bottom. He is actually another achievement called... Uh, it's going to be part one of the five for what's called the lover. There's the smoker. Um, but I'm not just talking to them just yet. I'm going just going around pickpocketing everyone that we can. Um, grabbing everything that we can as well. And there we go. So you can actually go ahead and speak to the woman on the left, the guard, but we don't have the ticket just yet. So don't worry about speaking to her yet if you don't want. Uh, but we do, like I said, we will need to speak to the smoker and the joker. Or the lever, sorry. The smoker and the lever. But we'll do that in just a minute. We come onto this cart because there's the guy in the sweater. Oh, hello. Hey, come back. Oh, there we go. So he's got 55 bucks on him. Plus a Zone C ticket, so that came in handy, didn't it? And... Doo -doo -doo -doo. So pretty sure now that's everything that we've done in this first cart, so we can actually just now go ahead back into the cart on the left, into Zone... What's this? Zone D? And again, if you've pickpocketed everyone, that's all good, because we are going to go ahead, speak to Blue Lady, or apparently we're going to give her the... Uh, ticket first, so just keep interacting with her until you can say, I have a ticket. Yeah, thank you, my God! Get the hell out of my way! Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and speak to the smoker. So again, this is going to be number two out of four. <laughs> and once that's done, make sure to speak to old Green Goose the Moose, the guy who keeps saying Josie, Josie, Josie. Or if it was these days, it would be Jose, Jose, Jose Mourinho. Anyway, again, doesn't matter what dialogue options you choose. Um, you, uh, this will be number one out of five for the <whistles> lover. So off he nips. So. That's the smoker done, that's the lever done for this level. So that's all good. So now we can actually go uh, to the left. Um, and as I said, we're going to pickpocket the girl. Uh, there's going to be a girl, that girl right there, to grab the cow keychain, which is another collector's item. So once we get into this next train car, um, we've se we see the comedian. We'll speak to him in just a bit, but we're going to go around just pickpocketing everyone for a minute. Oh, oh, oh. But make sure to specifically speak to Blue Guy here. This guy looks familiar. It's because he is the Joker. N not the good Joker. The miserable Joker. Uh, and this will be number three out of five. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. So this guy, as you can see, has a Hamex card, or Hamex card, whatever you want to call it. Um, he's got a Hamex card on him, so that is what we actually need. Um, and then once you've... you don't actually have to listen to any of the conversations, um, eavesdrop or anything like that, you don't actually have to do this at all. So once you've pickpocketed everyone, you can actually head left into the next cart. Okay, so first things first, we're going to speak to stripey old Where's Wally looking guy right here, or, or Where's Waldo. Uh, so you, again, we're going to choose a specific dialogue option, and you're going to ask him, what does your pin mean? So the middle option there, what does your pin mean? 
And then you need to ask him to teach us about stocks and stuff, and that'll get us the Logo and the Flungus achievement. I don't know what it is about Flungus, but uh, yeah. So press X to learn about stocks, that'll get us the achievement. Yikes. Yikes. Ooh. Oof. Ah. Oh. What? <laughs> Buy low, sell high, that's my motto. Homer Simpson style. Right, interact with the newspaper as well. We are going to need this for another achievement in just a bit. Um, and then we can continue heading left. Now, make sure again to keep interacting with every bin as we go past. Uh, I think this is where I get film buff three out of seven. Yes, it is. Back to the pasture. So again, make sure to keep interacting with every bin and curtain uh, uh, what we can. In, oh, we got another Hamex card there. Oh, this is getting all too easy. Um, just to get the film buff 3 out of 7, otherwise you'll have to replay the game again. Um, but once you've pickpocketed everyone here, we're going to go left here to the bar. So on the right side of the bar, there are two things to grab. First being a sticker, which is the missing cow. I wonder where he's gone up in the sky. And the next one is going to be the cowbell, which is another collector's item. So that's 10 out of 25, that should be. And three out of five for the stickers. So go ahead and speak to the bartender. You're going to keep ordering something to drink. So just keep on speaking to the bartender, who is obviously a woman with a beautiful Marge Simpson mustache. Um, but just keep asking for a drink. Huh? Maybe. Now we get a nice cold whiskey or milk ski. It's just milk. There's nothing else. So uh, that's actually a collector's item which we need. And go ahead and grab the pen as well. So you should have a glass of milk and the pen as well. Uh, like I said, that's the, the milk was the collector's item there and the pen we actually need. So interacting with the code here, it's 7425. So 7425, enter, and obviously go inside, and then what we're going to do is, uh, just to the left, and on the floor, uh, past the old guy in the blue suit. Whoa! 350 bucks, boys! Cheese fingers! <laughs> Cheese fingers. Uh, yeah, this is uh, where all the rich people hang out. But uh, just behind the curtain, or the shoe here, is the shoe pot. The chair is the shoe polish. This is actually the big sneak. Three out of six. And just below that one is the next sticker. Um, and it is, that should be a sticker number four out of five. So we've got the shoe polish, we've got the sticker. So now we can basically go all the way to the left of the car. You need to go all the way to the left in order to listen in on a conversation. Um, again, uh, pickpocket everyone that you can, but you need to go all the way to the left to get the third times a flungus achievement. What is it with this game in flungus, man? Oh! Yes! Wow! Jolly good show! Yes! <laughs> well done! Good show! Jolly good show! Excellent! So there it is. So they're all flungused up. Uh, the collector will come back to the um, diabetic joker in just a bit. Oh, the, the Diabetic Collector, sorry. Well, we'll call him Diabetic Joker, it's funnier. So we're going to head back a couple of carts here. In, no, we don't want another lesson, thank you, Mr. Mr. Where's Wally. But what we do need to do in this cart is actually speak to the guy that we couldn't actually pickpocket before. It's Mr. Yellow Green Guy, who looks, well, I, <laughs> he looks ill. Bro looks real ill. Anyway, we do have to... Um, Go with a couple of dialogue options here. So uh, once we press the X button again in order to talk to him again. No, in fact, no. Uh, yeah, so just pay attention to the flungus. Sorry. So it is the middle option. Just pay attention to the flungus. Just pay attention to the flungus. Funny. Um, then choose market smudge. So B, it should be the bottom option, market smudge. And then rising. 
And then Logo's Quadrilateral Coefficient. And then make an unsecured knight trade in salt. Now that's what, to be honest, I actually just chose different options there. Apparently those were the options that you needed to choose in order to get the um, tip going and that we can get the achievement going. But as it turned out, I just chose any option and it still seemed to work. So don't worry if you chose like a different option than I did or whatever. Okay. So we need to provide proof of our tip, so we're going to go to the cart to the right-hand side. And we're going to get this little cutscene here uh, with the finance papers. And then we're going to head back into the car with Mr. Stockman. And this time, just go ahead and speak to him either once or twice, and that'll get us the... That's a good Flungus achievement. God damn it, what is it with Flungus? What is Flungus? Is it like a flange? Okay, so getting quite close now to the end of the level, so we're going to head all the way to the right, basically in the starting car, where we gave the other guard the baseball card. So we're going to basically speak to the other guard this time and offer him 25 buckaroonies, which you should have plenty of by now. Oh, you biatch. 100, okay, 100 bucks it costs this time, sorry. So once we're into the cart anyway, gonna uh, interact with a couple of things. The first, we are going to interact with the sticker just by the right-hand side woman here. This uh, should then get us the Sticky Fingers Midlands Homeliner achievement. Plus, just to the right of that is the next Burblow. Oh, in fact, no, it's not a Burblow, it's a cow purse. Yes, the cow purse. There is the next one for the, um, uh, there's Big Daddy. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say, but we don't have the Burblow yet. So speak to him once, and then we'll come back to him, her, him in just a little bit. Interact with this girl here as well. This is actually another one out of five part thing. That's called the Squeaky Stranger. So we found her. She'll just nip off. That's all good. And then finally, what we're going to do for the next part of the Big Squeak is interact with the bin just next to the door. We're going to drop the shoe polish in, or try to, and this that's going to be the big sneak four out of six. So in this room, we should have got the big sneak there, four out of six, talk to the girl, that's the squeaky stranger, one out of five, and the sticky fingers achievement, plus the collector's item as well, which was the cow purse, of course, that we picked up. Right, so now we're going to go all the way to the right, still in the same room, all the way to the right, we're going to see a blue suitcase, we are going to enter the code 3. So 3 is the first number. And then second number is 2. And third number is 2. So 3, 2, 2. 3, 2, 2. Cool. And we'll get a whole bunch of money again, of course, because, yeah, that, that's all good. Um, so if you want to, you can actually go in and turn in all your collector's items. Um, to the uh, diabetic Joker. I don't know why. Di I don't know why diabetic. I, I've never been diabetic. Do diabetic people look all blue and flushed out? My assumption is no. So I, I don't know what I'm talking about. No offense to all my diabetic legend uh, <laughs> friends who are <laughs> watching, of course. It's not a name at you guys, I swear. Okay, so once we, like I said, so we are going to go all the way to the left hand side. We're going to give him all of the items. And then we are going to basically get off this train in an unconventional way. Hmm? Ooh. <laughs> Provo. Yeah. Yes! Uh, huh? <laughs> huh? Excellent! Wow. Please. What? Jolly good show. Okay. Well done! What? Good show. What? 
Huh? <laughs> what? Well done! All right. Yeah. Provo! Woo! Yes! <laughs> Good show. Yeah. It would be so nice. Excellent! Yeah. Well, uh... We'd love it Come if you... Come on! Jolly good show! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Rad! Well hmm? done! Excellent! Provo! Yes! <laughs> good show! Well done! Spanking your hairy crutch. There we go. So that one is done. So we're going to go to one cart on the right and then we're actually going to interact with the emergency pull that's going to get us kicked off the train uh, and get us the dusty tosser achievement the dusty toss achievement sorry so obviously we are going to pull it uh, don't worry though we will get back on the train in just a bit <laughs> but we'll just get the dusty toss achievement and And there she blows, matey! Right, so interact with the ticket booth. And again, we'll have to rewind the VHS tapes. Again, it's just pressing the A button a couple of times. So, uh, sometimes, now I accidentally done this next part here, the whole change breaking thing. Uh, but it's always worth, we do need to come back in here anyway. Um, but it's always worth just keeping practicing on the change breaking. Remember, if crappy voice teen says, sigh, that means sad, tell him a joke. If he says, uh, say something weird. And then if he says, grr, um, press the B button to keep okay. on saying nothing. Uh-huh. Rad, huh? Ow. So we will come back to the uh, Vic, Vic, Vikram in the old wheelchair, bro, in just a minute. Um, so we're going to interact with the phone again, and once again, we're going to speak, we're going to phone Marie first for the best friend shuffle achievement, one out of three, and then we're going to phone our mommy for the truth, two out of three. Huh? Cool. Huh? What? So I Yeah Okay, so back inside the old video villa and once again, we're going to interact with Vic in the wheelchair and this time when we play Rad Skater again, we need to get a score of at least 800. So again, it's just as easy if you got invincibility on, just wait, just keep on going until you get 800, let the time run out and that will, and then speak to Vic again and that'll be the skater two out of four done. Okay. All right.
Again, may have slightly went overboard, but hey, there's nothing wrong with going overboard, right? What? It's like overboard like when you go to your nan's house and she goes, Do you want something to eat? And then it's like a mountain of food. Oh, man, nans are the best. And uh, grand, grand, you know, grandpas are the best as well. Grandparents are just the best. They overfeed you and that's just what we want. It's just what we love. Right, so once we go outside, head to the left, and you can see the burblo sitting right there in the open. All the magical blurble blow. Uh, so once you've grabbed it, talk to the person in the ticket booth again, and then we'll be back on the train. Huh? And instead of getting kicked off, they're just going to tell us off the train, and we're going to be like, ha, ah, no. Uh, right, so once we're back on the train, all the, go all the way to the right to enter the cargo part again. Interact with Big Daddy twice. Remember, you have to interact with Big Daddy twice in order to agree to sell him the magical burblo. And that will be Kids in a Trench achievement two out of six. So that's all we got to do now. So what we can do is head all the way to the left until we find Ted. Choose Let's Go. And we are on to the biggest level of the game. Las Venganza! All right. Ah. Oh, please. Hmm? Yeah. Ha-ha. <laughs> huh? All right. Uh. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Tell you what, for someone who's been hustling a long time, Ted kind of sucks donkey nuts at this. Um, but anyway, here we go. Let us start this Las Vangenza level. So the first thing we're going to do is interact with the gold spray paint can by the building here. Solid go- well, yeah, liquid gas. Ah, <laughs> funny. Right, so this area can be slightly confusing, so I'll try my best here. But what we're going to do is we're going to head down the alley uh, to the left. And we're actually going to find the comedian here. Ooh, 654. Obviously, obviously, we're going to be checking bins and pickpocketing people on the way, as we always have done. Uh, but go ahead, speak to the Joker, or the comedian, whatever you want to call him. This is going to be number four out of five. All right! Yes! And while we've got a payphone here as well, once again... We are going to use the phone to call Marie for the best friend shuffle two out of three. And then finally, we're going to call our mother and get the truth achievement. All three out of three will be done. What? So? Maybe. Here. I... What?
Hmm. Okay. Ah, see, I always say love you. I could not imagine saying love you to my mama. Unless, of course, your mother's an absolute dingbat, then uh, fair enough. But my mother's not a dingbat. I love my mother. Uh, so, anyway, here we are at Delancey. So, after pickpocketing those two there, we're going to actually head in to Delancey's. Again, it's the skater three out of four. So, we're going to go ahead and speak to Vikram uh, in the skater. And this time, we need to get a score. Oh, in fact, there's the, uh, the smoker as well. So... Uh, we'll get the smoker three out of four after this one, but we need to beat 1,600 points this time. So again, play the game, beat 1,600 points, speak to him again, and that's going to be the skater three out of four done. Cool. Hooray, we're so cute. Okay, since we're so cute and we're all done, again, once you've spoken to Vic, again, as I said, that's going to be three out of four for the skater. Slightly to the left, we've already seen her, the smoker. So after this, we'll speak to the smoker. Choose any dialogue options you want. That's going to get us uh, three out of four for the smoker. What? Okay. And once she knobs off then, we're actually going to pick up the cigarette. Um, now, I was actually just spamming the A button there, but make sure to pick up the cigar, which was right behind the smoker. Uh, that's going to come into play a little bit later on. Speak to the guy in the middle of the pool tables here. This is actually the weird shoe guy. Uh, obviously, after you do some pee-pee on everyone. Pickpocketing. So this is the guy called Shimmy... Uh, Shimmy. Jimmy Shoelace. Make sure to choose... Um, again, you could choose any dialogue option here, but what we need to do for the next one is say, let's yeah. shoo this, which is always a top pun. So, uh, yep, X button, let's shoo this. Uh, yeah. This is actually going to be five out of six Please. for the big sneak. We have to go ahead and steal some rather wow. rare shoes. So, uh, right, once we are done in here, what we can do is head all the way to the right and talk to the bartender, eventually. Right. And once you pee pee on everyone, or pee pee from everyone, as I said, speak to the bartender, keep on ask, keep on speaking to the bartender until the option secret menu appears. And then you can go ahead and choose that, and that's going to get us the cigarette and a coffee collector's item. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> uh, Chicksky there kind of needs a new job, I think. She seems especially, especially angry. Right, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to walk up the sidewalk. Oh, in fact, uh, yeah, we can actually go ahead and speak. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and speak to uh, Sneaky D, which is Jimmy Shoelace's rival. She's basically going to tell us to sneak into Jimmy's apartment and grab some more rear shoes. So, hmm. Okay. Woo! Cool. All right. Wow. Right, we'll see what we there we can do there, DD hey. pants. Right, so we're gonna walk up the sidewalk. Nope, not down the sidewalk. We're gonna head up the sidewalk, and we are going to enter uh, the Bean Spirit huh? Coffee Shop. So, oh, well, apparently I'm just going on the rob for a second. But there's Ted. Uh, but there's the Bean Spirit, basically where we started. Um, so there's quite a few of these Bean Spirits around. So obviously, just keep that in mind. I can't believe we're about to do it, but we have just robbed a homeless guy. He only had two dollars on him, and we just made his day even worse, as if it couldn't get any worse. Okay, so we're going to use the shelf on the left here to listen to the couple on the right. 
Once they're done, we can grab the okay. golden okay. Fanwa pack. Aww. Like, imagine being this rich where you can get a fanny pack made of just gold. Jesus, homina domina. Right, so solid gold fanny. Yeah, I've officially seen everything as well. Right, so w once again, we're going to talk to crappy voice team, the cashier. Keep on asking him about stuff yeah. until we can get the secret okay. menu and the... Corn Chunkachino for another collection item. Yes. It is what you think it is. What? Oh. What? You'll be back. Ha! <laughs> That's top. That's top tier comedy, that one. I like it. <laughs> You'll bean back. Anyway, leave the bean spirit and again walk up the sidewalk. And we're just going to obviously pickpocket everyone that we possibly can. And we're actually going to go once again into Videoville. So this next Videoville store. And again, just like these same last couple of shops, keep interacting with crappy voice team here until we can ask about the secret menu. And he's going to give us, actually, what he's going to give us is the film buff. The next film buff. So it will be four out of seven. I... Yes! W what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, yeah. Rad. What? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. No, actually, you know Americans in shops and stuff, cashiers. Do, do you actually still speak like that? Like, you know, make up puns like, have a video day. Because <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh. Have a video day. Uh, anyway, uh, once we've left the store, we're going to walk up the sidewalk. We're actually going to cross the street. Um, we are going to get the Joker. Five out of five achievement. Uh, we can just rob this guy here between the palm trees and a couple of other people. But uh, what we need to do is actually speak to the partially hidden legs. Just above these two people. And uh, we're just basically going to interact with them, sell them the ticket to the comedy show, and that'll get us the Joker achievement. Yeah? Cool. What? So, thankfully, we don't have to worry about that anymore. So, we're going to head up the sidewalk now. And uh, after PPing these two guys here, doing a bit of PP on them, we can actually go inside the next shop, which is called Une Jolie Femme. Uh, there's a uh, platinum, a platinum. That's how rich this is. A platinum badge pack, fanny pack, sorry. Juice pack, whatever you want to call it. And we can just pickpocket that guy as well. Uh, you don't actually have to do anything with a platinum fanny pack, um, but it's just... It's just there for us if we want it. So press the white button to grab it. <laughs> yeah, I love it as well. Platinum, like, Jesus, man. Right, okay. So uh, that's all there is in this shop for now. So we're actually going to head out of the shop. We're going to walk up the sidewalk and go across the street. Uh -huh. So go up onto the sidewalk. Don't worry about this for now. We will come back to this in a little bit. The green guy just walking away there is actually needed for an achievement. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, so again, go on the rob and then keep continuing upwards past the fountain on the right. Mm. Now, the raccoon mask we just picked up, I don't think that's needed for any 
thing. Um, but again, obviously, we just grabbed it anyway. And make sure after you pickpocketed everyone here, make sure to grab the burblo just underneath the uh, bushes, just next to this big lion statue. Uh, we don't actually ever have to come through here. It's just a shortcut. So if you continue going left, you will end up next to the sort of fake Eiffel Tower um, part, which is actually where we need to go next anyway. Um, but for some reason, I decided to take the long way around, go down, and then head up next to the fake tower. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Right then, so we're going to go for the first sticker, so just around to the uh, right, just to the right of the fake Eiffel Tower here is the first Venganza sticker, so that's one out of five done. So we're going to continue going up the sidewalk, and we're going to enter the next Bean Spirit. Yeah. Or if it's in Italian, it's a Flicada Bean Spirit. Eh? Flicada Bean Spirit. So pickpocket everyone that you can, of course, walk up and get into the next Bean Spirit coffee shop. And again, we've got a couple of things to do here. So, first of all, uh, well, we just pickpocket Broski, Chickski, and then onto the left, right over to the left, is the next sticker. Uh, it's the Bean Spirit sticker, so that's going to be uh, Sticky Fingers 2 out of 5 for this level. And if we interact with the cashier again, ask about the secret menu to get the Home Espresso um, collector, uh, collector's item, which should now be 15 out of 25. Yes! Hmm? What? Huh? Ooh. Hey. <sighs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> You'll be <bean> back. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. Right, okay. Next, let's lex it. Uh, we're going to go back down, um, and we are going to... So, yeah, back down the sidewalk. We're going to cross the street, and we're basically going behind the alley, behind the Ujori Femme store. So, just continue heading down, and take a left. And we're actually going to interact with the lover, the yellow guy. Ever so slightly. No, not this guy. Not this guy, but we're going behind the alley here. If we continue heading up, we're going to see a little love heart. Come on, keep going, alley. There he is. So speak to Mr. Uh, whatever your name is. And he's going, Jose, Jose, the special one. All right. Okay, so that'll be the lever two out of five done. So what we're actually going to do now is head back onto the main road, and we're going to head up. So uh, sticking with the main road, we're going to continue up until we see two palm trees with nobody in it, because that's where we're going to get the third out of five stickers for this level. I guess. Okay, so once that's done, we're actually going to continue heading up the road. There's going to be a large, big old, chunky boy of a white building. There it is. So do a little bit of pee peeing, of course. So once you've pee peed on them, um, we can actually go into the white building. We're going to interact with the bag. There's going to be a bag on our right. There it is. And the code is going to be 146. So one. And then four. And then six. Now, back in the 90s, unattended bags means you could rob them without fear of getting, you know, stabbed or anything. These days, if you see an unattended bag, sadly, it's better to run rather than rob. Which I don't condone robbing in any uh, case, but, you know. So once you've done that one, we can head back down, go into the bean spirit just a little bit further down. And again, we're going to talk to the cashier in here after we pee pee on these guys. 
Um, we're going to choose the secret menu option, and he's going to give us a Blue Lagoon collector's item. Which actually sounds like a decent drink. Yes! Woo! Yeah. What? Uh-huh. Me? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. What? what? All right. All right. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, hmm. What? Yes. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, hmm. Uh, all right. Hmm. Huh? All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, Woo. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Ah. Yes. Been back. You'll be back. Right, we're going to go for the Squeaky Stranger 2 out of 5 now. So we're going to head down slightly and we're going through the alleyway just down here where this bin is. There should be an option where we get to see Cheese Cheese Cheese. Uh, we've just picked up a bandit mask as well. But st in this alleyway on the right, there it is. So once you see the Cheese Cheese Cheese. Uh, she's going to nip off, but that is going to be two out of five for the squeaky stranger. Okay, so continue heading down, and then you can see the big steel, th uh, the big, yeah, the big steel thrift store. So that's what we're actually going to head into next. There's going to be a cheap fanny pack. <laughs> so I tell you what, we're all, I'm, I'm all fannied out for the day, to be honest, after this one. So immediately when we get in, press the A button in order to grab the cheapest of fanniest of packs. Plus, we are going to talk to the purple girl in the back. And that's going to give us some progress towards the achievement called the Periwinkle Takeover. This is now two out of four for that specific achievement. Okay. <laughs> huh? Okay, once we're out here, we are going to go downwards to the old pound shop. Come on. So head into the next area then, into the pawn shop. And again, we're going to talk to the diabetic washed out joker, hand in all our secret items. And plus there's going to be a sticker in this shop as well on the right hand side, which will be number four out of five for the level. All right. Uh. What? Yes. <laughs> huh? Rad. I. Wow. Excellent. Yes. Maybe. Ha <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh... But... If it's not too no. much trouble... Yes! Yeah? What? Please... Yeah! Uh. Right, so once that's done, like I said, remember to grab the sticker before we head out. There it is, right on the right-hand side. And we can actually head out. Now, we have to go to... Next thing we're going to do is go to the Rusted Springs apartment. So, it's just to the right of where we are now. So, head down. PP on these bros. And we're going to head inside. And if we go to the left, well, we can PP uh, this... Uh, lady on the right, if you want to. I mean, might as well. It's a hundred bucks. hundred bucks for nothing. She just seen us do that, but that's fine. So we're going to go into the elevator on the left. Go to room 21, which should be right in front of us. And we're going to enter 
using the code 5403. So 5403, press enter, we will automatically grab the shoes. There we go, so once we get in, now I accidentally kept spamming the A button, accidentally went outside, and then I started a conversation with Myrna. Um, which we have to start this conversation with her anyway. So if you want to just start it with her now, we actually have to go back into the Rusted Springs apartment though, in just a bit. Huh? What? You know? Right, so back up the elevator we go. Go to room 22. This time we're going to use the code 7453. So that's 7453. Enter that, and again, we will grab the other pair of apparently extremely rare shoes. So that is two pair of rare shoes that we've got, and that's job done. So once we're back outside, make sure to speak to, if you uh, haven't spoken to her yet, we need to speak to her at least twice. So speak to Mirna, Mirna, Mirna. Um, but we have to be sure to uh, agree to get the licenses for her. Don't just pay her off. So it'll be the top option and it'll say five licenses. I'm on it. We need to do this for her. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, uh, again, only a couple of things left to do on this level. It's a long level, but it ain't too bad. So first of all, walk straight down the sidewalk, cross the street, and we're going to find a purple girl in a green, this chick right here. So, uh, PP on her, and then that's going to be the first license done. We're going to go up the sidewalk ever so slightly, or the path, or pavement, whatever you want to call it. I'm just uh, being more American today. Uh, interact with this, well, just where Rad Ghost is right there. Just interact with this girl as well, or the guy, whichever you want to call it. Uh, him, her, <laughs> that's going to be the next pickpocket license. Uh, just between the, actually, just between the pink and the green cars here, right in the middle, we're going to find the next and final, what should be final, sticker on this wall, which should get us the Sticky Fingers Las Venganza achievement. That actually is the hero we need as well. Uh, so, we're also going to get another achievement straight off, so go ahead, speak to this guy here. Do not call him Dan the Man. Choose the uh, top option, I heard you know things. Never say Dan the Man, because... Nobody wants to be called Dan the Man, do they? Anyway, um, after all this, we're going to talk to him one more time to get the Watcher achievement. What? What? Uh, well... Please... Okay. Huh? Oh... Uh. Huh? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And we have to be sure to say, I've got it right here. This is my fanny. Yeah, I've got it right here. Take a look. Take a look at my fanny pack. Uh, and then make sure to give him the actual gold fanny pack. So press the X button. Top option. Gold fanny. So show him your golden fanny. And that will that is what will get you the Watcher achievement. Hmm. Righteous. All right. Okay, let's go and get another achievement now. So what we're going to do is head up. So we need to walk past Ted, where obviously where we started the game. So continue sort of up left past Ted, and just by the pillar is going to be Jimmy Shoelace. Simply talk to him, and that should be the big sneak achievement done. And Dostado. All right. Huh? Hmm? So yeah, I do have to. I do think you have to give him sneaky D shoes, um, but that is what will get you the achievement anyway. So we head up. We're going to uh, pickpocket these two people now as well. One of them will have a out of state driving license and the Flynn, the Flynn Flom. The Flin Flon Flim Flam achievement should unlock once you've pickpocketed those two guys as well. Uh, if you do need another driving license, uh, interact with the uh, cheerleader here, cheerleader haircut pom-pom head. 
in green and then go slightly back down interact with Myrna once again to get the fraudster achievement Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ho ho. Right, so I promise we're almost there now. We're almost done. So what we're gonna do is walk up the sidewalk here and go through the alley between the pawn shop and the big steel thrift store. Here we go. Um now sneaky D just on the other side. There she is. Uh she's gonna be waiting for us. We can talk to her, give her the shoes, uh, just for a little bit more cash. So we might as well go ahead and do that. And after this, we can go back down between the same stores that we came to and basically go on what looks like the beachfront um, by Delancey's. And we're going to go across the street and spy with the dad, the broccoli-headed, burblo-loving dad, um, just across the street. So basically continue heading down is what we're doing. Hey. Okay. So once you've spoken to him, remember to not sell him the burblow. We need to give it to our big daddy, who's going to pay us for being so hot. Um, but anyway, once you have spoken to him, if we go up the sidewalk a little bit, there is the daddy of bigness. Um, so there we go. Obviously, since we've already collected the burblow, we can go ahead and speak. Make sure, again, make sure to speak to big daddy twice here. Uh, I actually wasted time walking around because I forgot uh, that you need to speak to him twice. Right. Press the X button, and that's going to uh, sell it to sell it to Big Daddy, and get three out of five for kids in a trench. Okay, now we're going for another achievement, which is going to take about five or six minutes, basically. Uh, if we just head up um, past the palm trees here, ever so slightly onto the right, you're going to see eventually. Uh, just continuing up. Um, this bin. Now, there is Murray just walking down the sidewalk. So don't follow him too closely. Otherwise, he may skip the next person and have to do the loop again. But you need to go ahead. Every time you're speaking to someone, you need to go ahead. Uh, eavesdrop on him. Press the X button. Smash the uh, X, uh, the A button in order to get through the dialogue. And then go to, and then he's going to eventually go to the next person, albeit very slowly. So we just need to keep doing this around. So... Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to head down. So that's the first person that he's spoken to. Again, try not to follow him too closely. He may get spooked. He may move on and you'll have to do the whole loop again. That actually did happen to me once. So just wait here because he's actually going to start walking down. And then he's going to come back up. So just um, wait behind this bin. So the bin that you can see here, just wait behind this. Until you see Murray walking up and go into the next person. Where we can eavesdrop right here. So the next place he's going to stop is a little bit further up, just next to the love heart, where we found the uh, green lover guy earlier on. So again, you're going to hide, just, <laughs> again, be careful because he does stop, but he's going to nip up slightly, there's going to be a bin that we can hide behind, and again, eavesdrop. Ha 
Hmm? Ah! Aha! Yeah! Oh, he was looking like he was just, uh, he, he was looking like he enjoyed the smell of his own fast there, didn't he? Oh, it's actually a hybrid. Uh, <laughs> the way Murray was speaking there. But anyway, he's going to stop here, so again, just be careful. But then he's going to go across the street, and we need to hide behind yet another bin while he speaks to the last person. Oh. Yeah. Yes. No. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah! Please. Yes. Ah. Okay. All right. Ha ha ha. Ah ha. Oh yeah. no. <sighs> So once that's done, we can actually go ahead and speak yeah. to Murray himself. But again, we have to choose specific dialogue options. So the first one is going to be sports when it finally comes around. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is then. Make sure to choose sports first of all. Then choose the bottom option, the grackles. All right. Uh -huh. Woo. Yes. Yeah. Next up, you're going to be choosing defense. Defense. Wow. All right. Hey. Then next up, make sure to choose the bass guitar. Although if it was me, I'd choose the drums because I yeah. used to be a drummer. Uh, but then the bass guitar. And then finally, you're going to choose record player. Now, again, uh, young people these days are probably looking at those options and thinking, what the goddamn hell is that? Yes, it's old people stuff, what we used to listen to music on. CD players, record players. Ah, oh, good times. Good times with weapons, huh? Right, so once that is all done, we will get the protectionist achievement. All right. So just go ahead now and simply follow where I'm off in order to go ahead to speak to Ted. And we're going to head to yeah. Ted and speak yeah. to him Ooh. with some bread, yes. but not go to bed because he's probably going to be dead. Yeah. Bread. Uh. Drop that Fred. I guess. I guess. I guess. Right up, so once this is done, we're going to go to the uh, left of the elevator here in order to nip up the stairs. Once we are here, um, the painting in the background just behind Ted, that is what we need to interact with. That's going to be the safe. And we're going to open it up using the code 7300. So 7300 and then press enter. So if you want to, you can go to the Diabetic Joker, spell, uh, sell some more unwanted items if you wish, otherwise we will be ready to go. So press X to say, yes, Teddy boy, we are ready to go. Um, 
And uh, yeah, again, you can ask him about his parents and stuff if you want, but yeah, we're just gonna crackle on. All right. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, right. So. Hey, that's it. I... So this is a lovely short level, which is always nice. So, first things first, interact with the back of your car. We're going to find the first out of two stickers in this level. Uh, then what we need to do is go to the left, and we need to go around the back of the hotel. Um, you get stuck if you go around the right side for some reason. So head around the back, and what you're going to see is a dialogue going, and that's actually just the squeaky stranger cheese girl again. So once you see it, press the X button. That's the squeaky stranger three out of five. And then once that's done, head back around to the front and speak to old teddy bags. Huh? All right, so get your buns in the triple trums. All right, okay, so straight in front of us is going to be the last sticker on the wooden table. So we'll get sticky fingers perdido. Uh, portaito, partido, yes. And then we're going to head upstairs for a bit of more conversation with old Tednus Bognus Regis. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And oh yes, you could see where this was going. The con man who has come into our life has obviously conned us. It's what they do. So we're going to actually exit out of the hotel. It's going to be a little bit of a scene. And then we're going to go back upstairs and check everything in our room until another scene plays. Yeah. Uh. Uh, what? What? Let's get the buns out of here, Hans. We have been conned. Just like Jim Carrey on I Love You, Philip Morris. So, interact with the bar may bartender, sorry again. Um, and he's going to keep offering us some home and eggs, which the eggs sound all right, but probably not from that guy. Huh? I reckon his eggs were probably made from, I don't know, motor oil, red, a can of Red Bull in his own blood or something. Uh, right, but anyway, uh, so once this is done, we're actually going to go for another achievement now. Again, this is missable, so we're going to head to the right when we get out of the TTT, the, the, T -T -T, the Triple Truce. Now, make sure to do it in this specific order. We need to go up, first of all, and then right, and then up. 
and then right. And basically, you're just going to keep doing that. So you're going to keep going up, right, up, right, up, right, going through the dialogue as intended until we get the heat stroke hallucination achievement. So up, right, up, right, keep going. Oh, but it is. Welcome to Video Hell. Sounds like a Tenacious D, Jack Black type song, that doesn't it? Anyway, we're going to go inside. Now, on the shelf, uh, just to the right of us, right there, we're going to find the next film buff, actually. It's Moon Girl. Definitely not Sailor Moon or anything, is it? Uh, but that's five out of seven for film buff. Go ahead, speak to all five guys, uh, or the all five, all five of the crappy voice teens. And we're going to get, and then we'll back, uh, get back inside of our hotel room. Uh, uh, anyway. <sighs> right, so we're going to head back outside. Um, again, we can leave the Red Bull bloodied um, eggs alone. Now we're going to go back to the right. We're going to do it properly this time. So we're going to go back up. Then we're going to go right. Then we're going to go left. And then up again. Then right. Then left. And then finally right. And then once you've done this, we can continue. You'll know when you've got it right because there's only one path. Way. So let's continue walking to the right and use the phone when it comes in view to speak to mommy. Hmm? What? Ah. Hmm. I Well, what? All right. And for the final thing we're going to do is head outside. We're going to have some more scenes and dialogue with this. We've seen her a couple of times, haven't we? She's actually uh, Detective Ez. Detective Esme. Um, so once you've spoken to her, we will... Uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of the level. Then we're off back to Las Venganza. I've got my eye on you. Oh, stop it. Yeah? What? I, uh... What? Hmm? Yeah, okay. Ugh! What? Yep. I don't know about that. Yeah? Hey! Hey! I've got my eye what? on you. I, uh... What? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Aw. Hmm. What? Okay. Uh-huh. Huh? Aw. Huh? So. I don't know, but I've got my eye on you. Cool. Rad. Yeah. I, uh, so. Woo. 
Well, huh? maybe. <laughs> no. Well? Ah, would you mind? So, if you're wondering if this is even shorter than the one before, it's actually not. There's still quite a few things to do in here. So, first things first, let's head down, go into the pawn shop, but we do have to pay 300 bucks. Uh, in fact, we're not going into the pawn shop because we need to do some pee peeing on people to get our 300 bucks back in order to get our stuff back. So, just go around, pickpocket in everyone that you can until we get 300 dollar dues. Yes. <sighs> oh. All right. Ugh. Yeah. What? Ah, she blows, mate. That should actually be plenty. So get back into the pawn shop, get our stuff back. We're obviously going to be unhappy since we've just all collected a bunch of crap for him. But tis what be tis. It would be so nice. Mm. Ah. Hmm. We'd love it if you. Well, screw you, Fanny Pac Man. But we'll be back to him later anyway, because we're going to cheer him up in just a bit. So, what we're going to do is go back th up and through the alley in order to get to the Bean Spirit on the right-hand side. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and talk to Esme once we're inside. Detective Ez. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, on the right, well, left, right, whatever it is. So, go into said Bean Spirit. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> huh? I've got my eye on you. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to head out. Uh, we do actually have to uh, basically do what we've done with Murray earlier, and that's a bit of stalking, uh, but we'll do that in just a bit. So we're going to head up just across the street after we uh, pickpocket this guy. Oh, not again. My 80 bucks have gone. Uh, but we're going to go up. Uh, we're not quite this far up. We just need to go to the sort of uh, banana fruit vendor, bro, whatever he is, in order to get a sticker. So a little bit further down. Come on, there he is. So just in front here, this is the first out of five stickers we're gonna grab. And now we are actually gonna go ahead and do the the stalking Sammy thing. So uh, we need to go down to the bin next to the big steel thrift store. So if we just go ahead and cross the street, uh, that is where we will see the bin. Sammy should be there, but if he's not, just wait uh, for a second anyway. And just to eavesdrop on him, talking to himself like an absolute Loony. Uh, now, uh, just before uh, nipping off, go to the big steel thrift store and get the sticker, which is going to be in the window. So interact with the stickers. So that's two out of five for those stickers. And then what we can do is actually we're going to head around the back of the big steel thrift store and into, uh, eavesdrop on Sammy talking to himself again. Yeah! So 
when that's done, we're going to head slightly down again. And just by the palm tree, Sammy's going to be talking to himself again. So again, just eavesdrop right here. And then we're actually going to head down into Dan the Man's used cars. The gold standard. There is no gold standard in used cars, by the way. Um, so we're going to head slightly down. He's going to be at the bottom of the car park. Um, I just grabbed a hard hat. Don't think that's not used for anything. So in, uh, eavesdrop on him again here. I'm just going to uh, do a bit of pee, pee on this guy, rob some money off him there, job done. So again, we're going to go through the little alleyway, just wait until he goes down. There's actually going to be a collector's item that we're going to grab here as well. And it's going to be just in this bush next to the bin, so this garbage, uh, garbage infused cake. So make sure to grab that and then eavesdrop once more. Could you maybe? Come on. Huh? What? Ooh. Aw. What? And also what we're going to do is, uh, once Sammy starts heading up to the left, just wait, but we're going to pickpocket a kid who has a birthday card on him. So again, sorry, Mr. Homeless Man, we need that two bucks more than you. Probably not, but anyway, there's the kid. Once you have uh, pickpocketed him, that's going to be another collector's item birthday card. And then finally, just head r about here and... Eavesdrop on Sammy once more. Now, I accidentally went into Videoville, which was a bit annoying, but we actually have to go and find Sammy. He should just be across. If you've done what I've done there, he should be in this area or just across the road. There he was. He does walk off quite fast. But anyway, um, we have to say go for it. And then the next one is, hey, Sammy, thanks for all you do. Aww. Then say the thing. <sighs> and then just say it. Now, he's going to be absolutely chuffing. But as he walks away, we're actually going to pickpocket Sammy. And that's going to get the codes off his butt. Ah. <laughs> 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 so uh, apparently he needed that which is always nice always uh, nice to make someone's day no matter how annoying and greasy they are uh, so once you've pickpocketed sammy with the codes we are going to go back to the alley by the uh used salesman's car lot where dan the man's car lot is uh, basically where jimmy shoelace was before for the big sneak achievement and we're going to find the cheese girl by the pillar this time that's going to be the squeaky stranger, four out of five after we talk to her. Yeah. Hmm? Yikes. Oh, yes, the ultimate cheese. So that's four out of five. And once again, we're going to go back down to take a slight left when we get up here. Oh, slight right, whatever it is. We're interact with the payphone. Call Marie to get the best friend shuffle achievement. What? what? Hmm? Huh? Love is on the cards <laughs> between two best friends, which probably won't be awkward at all. Right, so head down the sidewalk, uh, rob these guys, or pickpocket, sorry, and then go into Delancey's again. Uh, Vic in the wheelchair is going to be here again, so we're going to speak to him. This time, we have to get the uh, score to 1,800 points. So again, as long as the invincibility is on, do the same as you've always done. Rad Skater, 1,800 points. Let the time run out. Job done. Speak to Vic again to get the skater achievement fully unlocked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So bang tidy, that should be all for the rad skaters. So we're almost done, cool. sort of almost done. So once you've done that and off Vic goes, his uh, his actual score is something like ridiculous. 4,346,789 points. Pretty decent there, pretty decent. So once you have spoken to him anyway, we're going to go to the left and pick up another collector's item, which will be some cake candles. Uh, oh. Rad. So there they are then, so make sure to grab the cake candles, that should be uh, 17, no 18, sorry, that should be uh, collector's item 18. Right, so next up we're going to go to the, we're going to exit out of here and we're going to go to the next bean spirit. So uh, the next bean spirit is going to be quite close to the payphone. So uh, where is it going to be? It's... Uh, blah, 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 blah. So there's the garbage, uh, yeah, so that was the cake that we got. Oh, sorry, yeah, that, yeah, bean spirit. So yeah, that was the garbage cake that you should have had from just outside the bin. Uh, do a bit of pickpocketing, and then what we need to do, we need to go to the right side, interact with the coffee here, after you pickpocket this chicka, chicka dee dee, interact with the coffee, and then grab the medal while she nips into the bathroom. Oh, we've also got the foil balloon as well, just on the right. So that the foil balloon is collector's item 19 out of 20, Press the Y button next to the coffee in order to spill it. Eventually. Come on, you finicky piece of... There we go. Just shouting always works. See? Right, okay. Go ahead and grab the medal then while she's uh, taking a dump. Or taking a whiz. Whatever you prefer. And then, uh, yeah, that's all good. Then we can go um, and get out of here. So exit the shop. Um... Like I said, we should have the uh, the birthday card, pickpocket birthday card. So actually, it should be on collector's item 20 now, sorry. Once we're in Videoville, go behind the pillar to find uh, film buff 6 out of 7. Crazed and bemused. And we're actually going to go and get the film buff achievement now. So exit the store once again. Go up the street and enter the big looking theatre thing, which is the, the actual theatre. Hmm. <laughs> and once inside, interact with the middle sort of um, booth type thing, and that's going to get us the following achievement for being the 100,000th customer. And yes, I could do with some free popcorn, plus the film buff achievement, which would be nice as well. There it is. So thank you very much for that. While we're in here, Go to the right slightly on the fourth poster to grab the third sticker, the space sticker. That's going to be number three. So now we can get the absolute bunhole oleos out of here. And we're going to go... Uh, so we're going to exit, go to the right, and we should see Esme in the alley just before getting to Un jour joli Femer. So we need to speak to Detective Ez once more. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. I, uh, yeah, okay. I don't know about that. Now, this time we actually do need to go into Usulet Robert. How's my French? Crap? Yeah, just like my English. Uh, so actually, we do need to go in there because we're going to speak to Purple Girl in the back in order to get the third out of fourth yeah. for the Periwinkle Takeover achievement. All right. um, and there's also another sticker in here as well. So once you've spoken to uh, Leela, I'll just call her Leela, uh, like I said, very, very slightly to the right in the set of clothes is the fourth... Um, after we just rob her as well. So the fourth sticker there is La Jolie Presse Prise Tag. Or Price Tag in English. And then what we can do, so that should be sticker four out of five. And then we can go ahead and press the Y button on the fire alarm. That's going to get everyone out. 
So, well, I say everyone, the two people that's in there out. But before we leave, we're going to go ahead gra and grab some clothes off the back wall. We're going to need this to enter the casino in just a bit. So once we grab that, we can actually get out of here. And we're going to go to the next bean spirit. So we're going to uh, basically go right. We're going to follow the road all the way up to the bean spirit. Uh, just by the casino. So take a left here. Sorry, that's what we're doing. So taking a left again, a little bit of an edit there, uh, but taking a left, go in, uh, go up the walkway, side path, whatever you want to call it, and head into the next bean spirit, and speak to the lava, lava, lava. Anyway, oh, I guess. Anyway. Ah, uh, no. Okay, uh, I guess. Ah. Uh. So that should be three out of five, and luckily enough for Green Balls, uh, she is in this area, so we'll go and talk to her in just a bit. But we're going to leave the spirit. We're going to go. Um, uh, we're going to go and spy on the father and child right here again. This is the Blurbo broccoli-headed uh, Broski. And we actually need to talk to the dad. So make sure to talk to the dad. Not this part, but you need to go ahead and speak to him. And again, that is what will make Big Daddy appear. Now, I actually forget to do it here. But if you speak to him, uh, Big Daddy will appear just a bit further down. Uh, so uh, go ahead, speak to him, go down. And we can actually go through the bushes right here. Uh, just after we rob her, thank you very much. So we can go through the bushes and then we're going to go around the building in order to get the broccoli-headed um, gym goers of the 21st century, of the 2023-2024. That's all you see in gyms these days, isn't it? Is the uh, six stone broccoli head bros. I am with you. Apart from I have no hair and I'm a lot bigger than six stone. <laughs> uh, but you need to interact with this about five or six times in order to get him in your pocket or your fanny pig. Right, so going back around and going out of the alley. Uh, we actually need to enter the big white building. So go through here into the white building onto the left hand side is where we're going to find the fifth and final sticker of this area. So the sticky fingers, Lads Venganza, revisited achievement will unlock. Job done. There's a pink bag on the right here we can interact with as well. We're going to use the code 682. So 6, 6, and then 8, and then 2. And again, that's just going to get us some more more money. I want, we want more money. Right, so while we buy the big heart statue here, this is where Josie's level lover is. And she genuinely just looks like a mop. So speak to Josie Jose Mourinho's mop. And what you do is you actually need to tell her that he's at the Bean Spirit behind the casino. So make sure to choose the top option, Bean Spirit behind the casino. That is going to be the lover four out of five. So, if you didn't go ahead and speak to the Broccoli Dad with his kid, make sure to do that now, like I said, in order to get Big Daddy to appear. Big Daddy, if you've already done that, Big Daddy's going to appear uh, just next to the right of the wedding chapel, just across the street from Jules Femur. Um, so, yeah, so because I didn't speak to him earlier, I've got to speak to him now in order to get Big Pap Paps to appear. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway. Woo! So there we go. We're going to head down. And if you continue heading down, this is where the white uh, wedding chapel is going to be. And it's, uh, Big Daddy is going to obviously be appearing straight in front of us. So again, what you need to do is talk to him twice in order to give him the disco broccoli. And that will be four out of six for kids in a trench coat. 
Huh. What? Yeah. All right. Anyway, no. All right. Okay. What? All right. All right. Right, so we're almost done here now. So what we're going to do is go back into the pawn shop. Uh, and we're actually going to uh, turn in all our themed items of what he wants. So again, it's the same as always. Keep checking the bag until we've got all the money. Okay. Well, uh... What? No. What? Jolly good show. What? If it's not too much <laughs> trouble. Rad! I... Good show. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Maybe. Yeah. It would be so nice. Wow. Yes! Ha ha ha! Excellent! Uh-huh. Well, uh... Please. Ha <laughs> ha! Provo! Yeah! I... Yeah! What? We'd love it if you... Well done! Okay, let's do it. We are going to head out of the shop. We're going to go up towards the fake Eiffel Tower, or the mini Eiffel Tower. Uh, the one incher of Eiffel Towerness. Uh, so just across the street where Sammy is just chilling by himself, straight up. And then what you need to do is go around the building between the sort of two buildings and the trees. And we will be able to speak to Esme again. Oh yes, of course. Uh, open the fanny pack with B, find the fancy suit, and press X to put the fancy suit on, of course, first of all. Then speak with Ez, and then we're in. What? Last things first. I mean, last things last. Enter the code 5583, press enter, and baby, we are dressed for success. Uh-huh. So this time we need ten thousand dollar dues in order to get through, but that's fine because there's a lot of rich people in here. Right. So first of all, we are going to head right after you've interacted with a couple of bins and everything, but we're going to head right, and what we're going to do is go up this little red ramp, right again, uh, again just after we. Ooh, that's a good start. Just after we. Uh, rob some people, and you go in to see Jose Mourinho's mop and um, big green balls right here. This will, uh, in just interacting with these guys, will give us the lover achievement. Plus 700 bucks, which is always nice. So that's a great start. Right. Again, we're going to head to the right, and on the second of these two tables, or the sort of right-hand side, or the, the one upper, there we go, is... Uh, the room 777 key, that's collector's item 22 out of 25. Uh, and then what we'll do, we'll head back down and we're going to go back to the start uh, where Esme is. And then from here, we're going to go up towards the... Uh, hey, what's up, Red G? We're going to go up okay. towards the central path and we're going to find a circular desk after we do a bit of pee-pee on people. 
Uh, oh, yeah, nice, boys. And then what you're going to do if you interact with the left-hand side um, uh, lion, that's going to be uh, another collector item, the Lucky Lion. So uh, 23 out of 25 now for the Lucky Lion. So we're going to speak to this guy, uh, old squeaky voice teen, but he actually looks like a decent teen. Um, now, you can try to break the $1,000, but we won't be able to trick him just yet. We will be back in a little bit later on, though, in order to do that. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and grab the next sticker. So, immediately, slightly left and up, in this plant pot is the ne is the first sticker, actually. Monstrosa! Right, so we're going to follow the red ramp down down now in order to get to a green bag again just after we do a bit of pp in so to the left of us that is where the next ramp is and there's going to be a bag uh, again just after a little bit of uh whatever in there's the green bag pickpocketing that's what i'm trying to get and this code is going to be 777 so interact with the green bag and it's going to be 777 Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Huh? Right, some underwear. Okay, I'll just go ahead and put them back. Lovely stuff. Right, we're going to go back up where we got the sticker. Uh, we're going to go to the right-hand side of the staircase, which is going to be basically between the stairs and the pillar. And we're going to get another sticker and a lucky penny. So this is where the sticker is, just behind the pillar, between the uh, just to the right of the stairs. Oh, damn. Magic Carp's had a blow-up. And the Lucky Penny, which is collector item 24 out of 25. And then what we can do now is go back down and to the left and go to what looks like a sort of dining section. Yes, this section right there. And on the upper right table, now we got a fedora. We don't need it, but, you know, I think it'll look cool on Ali Ali Handle. So if we go to the right top right-hand side table... Um, yeah, this is where we're going to find the Lucky Rabbit's Foot, and that's going to be collector, 20, collector item 25 out of 25. And as you can see, just to the left of us by the black of seats is the Smoker. We'll talk to her one more time, and that's going to get the Smoker achievement to unlock. Okay. Yeah. Right, so once you've done your PP pee -pee on everyone, head down, and to the left, we are going to go through this big old chunky opening. Again, after we just do a bit more um, uh, uh, bin diving and everything like that, but we are eventually going to go through the big massive opening on the left. There's a couple of kids we're going to speak to in here, and they are actually uh, needed for the Kids in a Trench progress. So speak to the kids. That's going to be Kids in a Trench 5 out of 6. Huh? What? Huh? Cool. Rad. What? Wow. And just to the left of the kids is the home mask. Just behind their pink disguise. So yes, they weren't big daddies. They were small wiener children. God damn it. You know, I've never liked that little wiener mill house. Anyway, we've got the home mask, uh, which again will be needed for later on. So once we've picked that up... We can now leave the kitchen, and we actually now need to make enough money to get to 10 grand. So if you press select, again, I'll always call it the select button. I need just five, uh, just over 500 bucks. So if you still need some more, go ahead and pickpocket some more broskies until we get the 10k. No, no. Yeah. 
There we go, mate. Jobs are good, and once we've got enough money, we're going to head up, and right in the middle of this section by the water fountain is the Huckster, the casino luggage uh, sticker, which should be now three out of five. So talk to the guards, and you basically just need to give her the $10,000, have it right here, in order to go up the elevator. Again, apparently no questions asked that there's a teen roaming around with $10,000 on it. Well, 183 bucks on it now. Uh, but yeah, so if you've got a fancy suit and a bit of a tie, you can do anything you want. Right, so head to the left, interact with the phone, and we're going to use it to call our mama. We're going to be sure to tell her the whole truth this time, and the achievement the whole truth will unlock. I... Maybe... What? What? Uh, yes, I, you know, what? So there we go. Our mamas are like, come home, baby. And we're like, I love you, mom. Anyway, speak, uh, go ahead and interact with this white door just left of the phone around four or five times. And it's basically the collector. He's sad that nobody's turned up to his birthday, which, you know what, I actually feel for him there. Because if anyone has turned up to a birthday party, surprise party, and nobody's uh, turned up, that is that's some sad stuff. Uh, anyway... We're basically going to give him all the items that we found, the lucky stuff and the birthday stuff, and that'll get us the last minute birthday party achievement. Haha! <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. Huh? Rad! Woo! Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh huh. Well, uh. Rad! Uh, uh. Alright! <laughs> but... What? Right, so we cheered up Broski there, even though we did take our 300 bucks off us earlier on. So, continue going to the left until we find a sticker here at the end of the hallway. This is the the ultimate 90s S, which we all done in school. Uh, yeah, if you remember how to do that, you are cool. That is number four out of five. And then, interact the stair door. We're going to unlock that for Big S when she pops up. Right, now we're going to go to the right, and there's going to be another right door just past the elevators. Um, and we are going to sell the burblows. This is going to this is going to be the one that gets us the three kids in a trench coat achievement. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> uh. Oof. Oof. Man, we've had to do a lot of stuff for these people. Right, so continue heading to the right, all the way to the right, until we find a golden door. That's going to be the golden door. And um, we're going to go inside, and there's going to be a sticker. So just after this scene, there's going to be a sticker right in front of us. There it is. Interact with that, and that should get us the Sticky Fingers Casino. Very Roger Moore, Sticky Fingered, James Bond, 007. Right, uh, head down and just go ahead and eavesdrop your way in. Uh. Mm. 
ไง Oh Ted I'm gonna bust your head I'm gonna bust it till you're dead Anyway go ahead interact with uh, Ricky and he's actually gonna throw us in jail and that's gonna get us the huckster's finest achievement because uh, Big Ez is gonna bail us out Right, so one more big thing then what, what that we've got to do is go uh, get the old switcheroo achievement. Now, make sure not to go behind the, the uh, you know, the, the, the waterfall and the that waterfall with the guy playing the piano behind it. Do not go behind there at any point. The reason being, what we're going to do is we need to go ahead and grab that switch, um, that suitcase. But first of all, we're going to head all the way to the left into the sort of um, dining area of what we can see and find Ted, there he is. So we're gonna go ahead and speak to Ted. Sorry about the edit there. Uh, I was roaming around for ages, um, just doing stupid stuff. Um, <laughs> really nothing that affects achievements or anything. Uh, but what we're gonna do, we're actually going to press the top option in order to uh, accept Ted's proposal. Uh. Huh? Ah! Right. What? Ah! Okay, so once you interact and accept his proposal, do again, do not go behind that piano. We've obviously got enough money on us. But we need to get the achievement. So you can see his guard with the uh, pocket, the, the cash full of cash, the case full of cash. So what we need to do is go all the way back to the right where we've seen the, ooh, 1100 bucks, nice. Where we've seen the guy with the empty briefcase earlier on. So effectively, you're just heading all the way up and to the right. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up. Yep, that's the one. And then we're going to go all the way down. And then as soon as Ted's, uh, drop dead Ted's uh, bodyguard has put the briefcase down, press the A button to switch it, or the Y button to switch it, whichever one it is, sorry. And that will get you the old switcheroo achievement. But again, it is very missable, so just make sure to do it in this way. Now, happily, you can go all the way up to the uh, Piano Man and end this one. So, uh, you can choose the top option there, and now I just uh, pressed X to stall. I don't think it, I don't think it makes, uh, I, I don't think it makes too much of a difference, because either way, I think Detective Ez ends up meeting with Ted anyway. So, uh, yep, that'll do, that'll do. Uh. 
Yeah. Cool. And last thing to do before we end this section, we're going to put on the home mask. Let's press the B button to open it up and then the X button to wear the home mask. Go all the way back down to where we got the Lucky Lion statue earlier on. And basically break out a thousand dollars and eventually once you have done that, um, in fact, I, I think you can choose any options you want. They all basically lead to the same outcome, but this is what will get us a slicey nicey 200 G's and the giant block of home achievement. Yeah! Okay! <laughs> yeah! deliciously and smelling like a big pink minecraft headed thing right so we're going to go back upstairs use the elevator go all the way back to the right through ricky's golden door and you're going to go through once we get in there we're going to go through all the dialogue and after a shortcut scene we are going to get the casino case out achievement and be back in lisbon and do a few tiny more things and then the game's done <laughs> Maybe. Mm-hmm. Woo. Ooh. Uh, what? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <gasps> well, uh... Woo! What? Yeah? What? Hmm. Aw. What? Hmm? Ha, <laughs> no. Oh. 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 Yes. Why are you arresting me? Oh yes, all those things I did. Right, so we've got 222 grand saved up. Job done, that's what we want. But before we finish the game, remember we've got a couple of achievements left to grab yet. So first things first, we're going to get this one basically automatically. Once we go to the right, um, the Periwinkle takeover should unlock, providing you spoke with the purple girl three times throughout the game. Uh, walk over to the right-hand side of the gazebo. We're going to see the sticky sticker kid. So once you speak to the sticker kid, the stickiest situation achievement should un should unlock again, providing that you've got um, that you found every sticker in every level, which you should have, uh, which you should have done. And then after this one is done, what we're going to do is now go to the alley between Linda's video store and the Two Scoops ice cream shop after this. So head up. Head up, burn up. Yep, through this alley right now. And we're gonna see the squeaky stranger for the last time. So interact with the squeaky stranger. She's gonna be all like cheese and stuff. And this is gonna get the squeaky stranger achievement to unlock. E -e 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 Wow, yeah? And that is going to be that. So all we've got left to do now is enter Linda's video store, go up to her room, go through some conversation with our mama mama mama, and that should then unlock the big con achievement and 52 or 52 achievements. Hmm, really? Ugh. 
Anyway... Maybe. What? Uh, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Haha! <laughs> no! Rad! I... Hmm? I guess. What? Huh? What? <sighs> really? Ah. Uh, maybe. Uh-huh. Maybe. Uh, pl oh, please. Hmm? Oh, could you? Yeah. have it then guys and gals so oh, thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well if it did of course don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with a friend as well a uh, big shout out as always to my patreon supporters youtube members and everyone who interacts with me on the daily so again thank you so so much i shall see you in the next one in the next game pass game no doubt big love homies and homesses